matter. We know that everything around us that has mass and occupies space is called matter. And every matter is made up of small particles. In this lesson, we shall see which matter around us is pure and which is impure. Let's take one example. Ghee. For us, ghee is pure if it is not adulterated. That means there are not other substances apart from ghee mixed inside. So if it is pure, that means it's only ghee. But according to scientists, even pure ghee is impure matter. Why is it impure when it is pure for us? Because ghee is made up of different things. It is made up of fats, it is made up of vitamins, it is made up of cholesterol and so many things. So according to scientists, ghee is an impure matter. Anything that is made up of different substances is called impure matter or anything that is made up of different kind of particles is called impure matter. Let's take the example of salt. When you check salt, salt is just made up of one kind of particles and all the particles look same, they have the same texture. So salt is said to be a pure matter. Anything that is just made up of one kind of particle is called pure matter. Don't you remember the line, dana dana ek saman for salt? That means it is a pure matter. Now let us take some more examples to understand this concept a little better. Let's take the example of wood. What is wood made up of? Is it just made up of wood particles? No. Wood is made up of different kind of particles. It is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, water, lignin. And there are many elements too present in wood. That means wood is made up of different kind of particles. So wood is impure. Let's take the example of sugar. What is sugar made up of? It is just made up of one kind of particles. It is made up of particles having the same texture. Again, dana dana ek saman. So sugar is also pure. Let's take soil. Is soil a pure substance? No. It is made up of organic matter, air, water, then grass, organisms and so many things. That means soil is impure. Okay, now we have understood which things are said to be pure and which are impure. So let us further understand that pure substances are classified as elements or compounds. And impure substances are all called mixtures. That means all the pure substances can either be elements or can be compounds. And all the impure matter is a mixture. 